Hey, what's going on, everybody? So in this video, I'm just going to be talking about Luke and R2 from the 40th anniversary of Empire Strikes Back. And this is uh, Dagobah for both of them. The R2's all dirty. And Luke's kind of funky, too. When they're on the swamp planet of Dagobah, when Luke was training with Yoda. So yeah, I found both of these at my local GameStop. At the same time, I found the brand new indoor Han Solo. That's a nice figure. I like that one a lot. So for this video, I'm just going to be doing these two, since I already did one on Han. But uh, let's see, let's look at R2. So R2 looks like that. He's all grimy. It has the, the picture that they used on the original line for Empire Strikes Back. Got the little 40th anniversary logo up there. Empire Strikes Back logo there. Now my card was kind of dinged right there. Eh, it's okay. It's the only one they had. So I had no choice. But it's not perfect. Back looks like that. It's a bunch of stuff that no one's ever going to read. Short description. And it shows you the figures that are in this particular wave. And then same with Luke. It's got the Got the picture of Luke that they used on the original line. Same little sticker there, same logo. There's the figure. And on the back, same thing. And it just shows you what is in this wave that this one came in. So I thought that I would just do uh, both of these together. You know, same, same point in the movie. And yeah. So let me get these open and let's take a look at them. So I got Luke and R2 out of their little bubbles. So I guess we'll just start with uh, Luke. Hey, Luke looks pretty good. I mean, he looks like he's been on Dagobah training. He's all dirty. So not a whole lot of detail on the outfit. Just some grime here and there. But, you know, they did a good job with texturing. The pockets look good. The face... I know lots of people have said this, but Mark Hamill, his face is hard to render in an action figure. Some of them look better than others, but this one's, it's not bad. It's not bad. That's what the back looks like. The boots look good, pants look good, you know, nice and dirty. The skin tone is pretty good. So as far as articulation... Up here at the head, got some great side to side, some really, really nice tilt. He's got some great up, but not too much looking down. And his head will sort of translate front and back just a little bit, you know. But yeah, it doesn't look down very much. Yeah, we got some great up. If he spots a bird in the Dagobah swamp, he can see it, so he can look up. Anyway, yeah, moving on. Arms go up to there. He has a swivel up here at the torso, you know, sort of high torso. Got some pretty decent crunch, some pretty good back. Legs, oh, the legs are stiff. So the legs go up to 90. Oh, hang on, let me go back. Arms, yeah, let me finish with arms. So it's got a single jointed elbow, but it gets way past 90. It gets all the way to there. Same on the left. So you have a swivel at the elbow, swivel at the wrist. And on the right hand, the gun hand, you have an up and down hinge. And on the left hand, same thing, swivel at the wrist, swivel at the elbow. And then you have a side to side hinge on the left hand. Yeah. Now let's let's move on to legs now. So the legs go up to 90. And they go way out. <laughs> that's impressive. Single jointed knee, so that's all you got. Feet go down that far. Yeah. And they don't mm, that's all you got in the way of up. Kind of hits the bottom of his front of his boot. Yeah, that's all you got. 
and then of course they swivel. Yeah, so that's Luke. It's a pretty good looking Luke. It's not bad. It's not bad. As far as accessories, he comes with his lightsaber from Empire Strikes Back, which was Anakin's lightsaber. And it looks pretty good. Some nice detail. It's a pretty good color. It's a little more turquoise than blue, but it's not bad. Just got his lightsaber. And he comes with a DL-44 pistol that is just like Han's. Pretty much the same, same blaster, same paint. So on Luke's, there's a little more brown on the handle. Yeah, but it has the same silver at the end of the barrel. But Luke's is just a hair more brown on the handle. Yeah. But it's a good looking pistol. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that pistol. Not sure if I'm gonna have, yeah, because there's no holster on it. There's nowhere to keep it. And since Luke was training on Dagobah, I'm probably gonna keep a lightsaber in his hand. Like he only pulled his blaster once on Dagobah. Okay, so you can get both hands on the saber. Looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks nice. So for the sake of the video, let me see what Luke looks like holding this. Well, the pistol goes right in. Right in. Finger went right into the trigger guard. Wow, he actually looks pretty good holding the pistol. Yeah, not bad. That looks kind of silly. Pistol in one, lightsaber in the other. Looks kind of dumb. I'll probably just leave the saber in his hand and... I'll find a place for this pistol. I don't know. That just looks like it'll get lost. But anyway, so that's Luke. It's a good looking Luke. So moving on to R2. So R2-D2. He's all grimy. And it looks like R2. So none of this... Actually, I take that back. That little door opens. Let's see what's in there. So that comes out of that of that little door. Okay. Does this door open? Yeah, that door opens too. Well, the stuff is so tiny, it's hard to get out. And there's his little the little claw comes out of the other door. That's cool. Okay, so two little doors there. Now this piece up here, so there's a separate accessory if you don't want the little telescope thingy or periscope thing. There's a cover that you could put in its place. This looks like something that wants to get lost so bad. But that pops out. Yeah. And then you can just snap that back at its place if you want that hole covered. Which I think I'll do that. Because this little thing right here, this little periscope, will be harder to lose than this little tiny piece. You know, I could put that back in its bubble. But yeah. Okay. But his head turns, the legs go all the way around, the bottom little feet will pivot, and as far as the third uh, leg, you twist the head counterclockwise to lower, and then you can have him in his three-legged state. Now. <laughs> They should have made this dirty. You know, it just looks kind of funny. All grimy uh, little pieces, except for that. But I guess you can argue, well, it was inside his body when he went under in, in the mud. But anyway, 
that's it for R2. There, there's really not much, you know, to say about R2. I mean, he's an astromech droid. They, you know, uh, there's not a lot of articulation, but he looks good. Yeah, I think they did a really good job with the paint. Yeah, everything looks good. The dome looks good. All the colors look good. Yeah, that's R2. Now, this is usually the point where I go and stick them on the shelf and get a good look at them on the shelf, but I'm going to have to do some rearranging, you know, because of Han and Luke and R2. I'm going to have to move some stuff around, but let's just take one last look at them here. Get the camera to focus on the figures. Here we go. So there they are, Luke and R2 uh, from Dagobah, 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back. I think these look really good. I'm pretty pleased. Yeah, good looking figures. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. And if you like stuff like this, be sure and hit like and subscribe and hit that little notification bell. I would certainly appreciate it. And uh, thank you so much for watching and we will see you guys next time.